Hi, this is Kelly from Pateka Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and this is the tutorial for Autumn Adventure, an open-ended board game for online learning. You can find this board game on Boom Learning. It is a Boom card deck, and it's super convenient because your students can use it on any device that has internet access. Now, you can easily use this online during virtual learning with an individual session or even a small group. It has the option for three different players, and I've also built in some boxes for naming your characters. So I don't know about you, but sometimes when I play board games, especially with a small group, students forget which piece is theirs. Okay, so this is an easy solution we're just going to do um, before we start the game. We're going to label who is who. So if I am the orange turkey, I am going to put my name there, and I can always reference back that this is me. So we have one draggable item and then one that stays in place just for um, a memory tool. Okay, so when we're on start, I'm basically going to complete a task or drill, whatever is designated for me in our activity, and then I'm going to come up as the educator or therapist and I can move this image right here which is a little bit transparent this is our number generator and it is our substitute die okay so this is going to designate for us a random number that we get to move on our game board so you'll notice it is transparent and that is so you as the educator or therapist can judge right about the time it's it's ready to change so when I move it it's the number zero I'd lose you know I wouldn't have any turn right there, so I want to wait until I know it's going to turn, and here we have number one, or number one again. So it's all out of order. It's really going to be a random a random roll, but the numbers are only going to hold their place for about one second, okay? So as we move along the board, when I let go of the character, it is going to stay there. If I get onto a um, part of the board that has a back arrow, I'm going to get booted back. And if I get over to this bridge, I get to jump over and kind of skip ahead. Now, as I move along the board, the goal is obviously to get to the finish area. But by the time you get here, your students are probably going to want to play again. And that is why we have a play again option. So this game has built in uh, play again features. This is also great if you are using this with different groups throughout the day, instead of having to, you know, log in and out of your game, you just hit play again, and it will refresh the entire game for your next session. All right, I hope you guys enjoy.